I had a major problem with this new Mega Squirt. This is the MS3 Pro Evo. Um, so I bought it about a year ago and just installed it. In my previous videos I showed I had it completely wired up. This is all the wiring harness that was all completely done. The problem is, um, I think something has gone wrong inside on the circuit board. And I've had the board, I've had the case opened and one of these, there's two of these tiny little fuses in there. One of them was burnt out. They were nice enough to have spares actually included inside the case. So I replaced it and um, the spare hasn't burned. So it powers up fine. Seems to do okay. The problem I'm having or I had with it is that two of the injectors would stay on all the time. So if it was powered up, the injectors would be clicking and opening and it actually filled the engine full of fuel. So I had to drain all the oil out of the engine and uh, that was quite a hassle, but I drained it all out, took the fuel out, put it all back together. And I went through troubleshooting with this. I went through all the wires. I took down all the wiring and redid it all again, exactly as specified in the instructions. And it kept happening. So basically, I think there is something wrong with one of the injector drivers on the board. Um, basically, I couldn't get any other injectors to fire except for the two that were on non-stop when the board was powered up. So this is going to go back for warranty work. And what I've done in the meantime is basically taken down all the wiring and connected my old Megasquirt 2. So this is a Megasquirt 2, the 3.57 circuit board. I took it out of my uh, old project truck, which um, hasn't been run in years. So it's okay to take it out of there. I wasn't really thrilled to take something apart, but um, anyway, the plan right now is to use this to send the Megasquirt 3 back for warranty, or at least to be assessed by the uh, vendor. And uh, I'll probably use this on a different project. So if I can get the Megasquirt 2 to work fine, it actually has the essentially the functionality I need for this project. It doesn't have a lot of the bells and whistles that the Mega Squirt 3 has, but it'll be fine for what I need. So, assuming the Mega Squirt 2 works fine, the Mega Squirt 3, I'll save that for another project. I do have another project in the wings that it would be great for, so that probably is what's going to happen. So as mentioned, I have gone through all the rewiring. It's basically all been completely rewired again. And it should now work with Megasquirt 2. This is a computer from a Megasquirt 2. This is the 3.57 uh, circuit board. So I bought this, uh, I think around 2008, and I bought it for a project that was a small block Chevy and a K20 pickup. And um, it worked pretty well. I used it uh, as my daily driver for a couple years after that, maybe a few years. Uh, and then it's been kind of sitting ever since. So the plan now is to use this Megasquirt 2 and adapt it for the LS. Now, one of the things that needs to be done is this needs to be modified in order to do an eight cylinder wasted spark. This has one ignition output typically, but it can be modified to have four outputs. So with four outputs on wasted spark, it'll run eight cylinders. So I've been researching how to modify it for eight cylinders. And um, this is something new to me. So I read the Mega Manual a couple times. Uh, I think I've got it figured out, but we'll basically have to see if it works. And the way to, the way that it's modified is basically running jumpers over here. So these jumpers run from this PAD 1, 2, and 3 to a spare uh, outlet, output. So that covers three of them, but for the fourth one, and for any more than that, you have to add in a transistor. So from the Mega Manual, it tells you where to wire the base collector and emitter for the transistor. I think I have it correct and uh, basically we'll find out. For the outputs, I'm going to put them all through this uh, DB15 port that was basically uh, empty. 
and I basically just arbitrarily picked output ports uh, and they're soldered in through here and then I can tell which pins. So the next step is to wire up the wires to the DB15 connector and basically that goes through so connecting the wires into here. So I've tested the injectors and the coils, and uh, I think the modifications that I did uh, worked, because it seems, uh, I think it's going to work. I have one more modification to make to the uh, circuit board here though, is for the CAN, uh, for the CAN bus, in order to enable that, I need to run a jumper from JS6 to spare one, and then JS8 to spare two. And I'm getting that information from the, uh, the uh, mega squirt manual. So JS6 and 8 are over here and the spares are over here. So I'm just going to run jumpers uh, on the back side. As you can see, I'm using Tuner Studio. All right, well, let's power it up and see what happens. Okay. So, I think this is looking favorable. I have tested this uh, before and the coils and the injectors are working. The latest modification was to get the CAN bus working for the O2 sensor, uh, which might be working there. Obviously it's not running right now, so well, let's see what's going to happen. I do have a throttle connected. It's not connected to the, bat, the gas pedal, but I have a throttle just in my hand. All right. So right now, Basically all the tunable parameters are completely just the default stock, the startup, enrichment, uh, everything, the idle control, I haven't even messed with that yet. So just the fact that it kicks is pretty encouraging. Let's see if I can keep it running. Okay, so it's trying. Obviously there's gonna be some tuning involved now and that'll be the next step. Uh, and that's, you know, part of the fun part of Mega Squirt and fuel injection is getting into the tuning. I'm gonna to have to open up the door here because just from those few starts, 
That's my carbon monoxide detector. 327. I think that's uh, actually fairly high dangerous levels. Anyway, I'll get some fresh air in here and then get back to tuning. So coming up, uh, we'll be uh, getting into the tuning of things. Thanks for watching.